Dominic McLean, a structural engineer. I've been very lucky in the last 25 years to be involved in lots of old buildings and very dilapidated buildings. Uh, and uh, this one clearly is in the same category where if you do a rational quantitative assessment, you might find that 2 or 3% of the timber is uh, rotten, but the rest is intact. So it's just an exercise in splicing on little bits, cleaning it up, packing up if there is rot under the foot of one of these struts, but it is all superficial. There is nothing here that gives me concern about the stability of the building. So what would you say to the uh, regional development agency's argument that it's economically unviable? I'd say they haven't done the right sums. I, I would ask straight away, if you were to start with this as a greenfield site and cost how much it would be to put foundations in, walls in, floors in, columns in, and roof trusses up, as if you were constructing a building, you would find that this was 150 pounds a square meter or something, and it's 200 pounds, 250, a quantity survey, I would say. And then to finish it uh, would not be much. Put the windows in, put the roof tiling on, put the plaster and so on. I think if you were to clean this up, you could actually say that it was a building under construction, not uh, deteriorating. So, so from your point of view, it's, it's a viable project, uh, both, both in terms of the structure and the economic side? Oh, um, unquestionably. The Hillpole building in Stroud was much worse than this. Floors had actually collapsed, and they put that back together and turned it into 34 flats with four penthouses. So have you got anything to say to the RDA about this? Uh, look at it sensibly and do the sums properly. Thank you.